Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We are on match number five um, of our league. And, of course, we get crappy hands. Whenever I play leagues, I get the worst hands ever. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. Pretty frustrating. Um... Even this hand is is pretty rough, but we'll we'll keep it. We can go plated into a gem hide and put down a Viverlance. Set up like that. Uh, hopefully our gem hide just sticks around. So what do we want to drop? That is the question. Don't really want to drop lead the stampede, but I guess we should because we got just. A good hand besides that. Turn one plated, turn two gem hide, drop the Viverlance, uh, turn three predatory into whatever else we're drawing. Yeah, I guess we'll I guess we'll drop the lead. I don't like doing that. Um but again, this is a decent hand without it, and we can still top deck some good stuff, so this is fine. We're going for the the two three right now. We're we're on the losing record. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate. If you haven't caught up on the other matches from this week, make sure to take a look at those. Looks like we're going up against Bogles. Uh, which is going to be a bit rough for us. Bogles is a hard matchup for us, that's for sure. Um, why did I think I could go Gem Hide turn two? Oh, well, this is embarrassing. Can't go Gem Hide turn two. For some reason I was thinking we could. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Every prob everybody's probably like going off thinking, what the heck are you thinking? You can't play Gem High turn two. Uh, I guess I was just banking on that forest draw. Um, whatever. I, I still think uh, the keep was fine. Reassessing now. <laughs> I think uh, they're not doing anything. That's interesting. We still got to lead the Stampede, and we haven't drawn any of our lands. So what, what were we going to do? We could have mulliganed I get, again, I guess. But that doesn't sound that appealing either. They didn't play anything, though. Man, this is when we could be getting ahead, and we can't. Bit unfortunate. When it enters, create two tokens, add mana. Some kind of ramp, I guess. Not bogles. Thank goodness. We can do stuff now, guys. Thank goodness. Ash Baron's saving us right now. Uh, so I could get out gem high, just play a predatory, or we could just play predatory and be able to attack in. I like that. I like attacking in. They can block one, and if they block another one, something tells me they need these spawns. So, let's see if they're playing with a mutagenic growth or anything. Doesn't look like it. So they'll take two. We'll just keep the pressure on them. Uh, like I said, I think they need these spawns to do whatever they're going to do next turn. So getting in some early damage I think is fine. Alright, hopefully we can redeem this game. It's a bit, uh, bit shoddy already. Again, I think I, I might have still kept that hand just because I don't really want to mulligan further, but wild growth, that's nice. They are cranking. They just like, gonna play a freaking one, two. They're gonna have seven mana right now. You could play some Eldrazi with that. Are you gonna see an Eldrazi? Ooh, what are you gonna do? We're in the losing bracket right now, so <laughs> we're going against more of the jank now, I suppose.
I wonder if they're trying to throw down an Ulamog's Crusher or something, you know? Just doing super ramp. Five, six, seven. You got seven mana available. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. You can block an additional creature each combat as long as you. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. And it's a four four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well. That's uh that's a bit of a problem. Draw an extra cards. Planes, we're gonna go gem hide into lead the stampede. See if we can build up our board a little bit. We found a hunter. That might be decent. We found a predatory, so let's just put down our predatory. Pass the turn. They're going to be drawing some good card advantage. Uh, we, we should be able to get to become the monarch pretty easily. Depending on what they do. They could throw down a bunch of tokens maybe even. There's the Ulamog. I knew he was coming. Lovely. All right. Well, this ain't. This isn't good. This is not good. Looks like we're not attacking in next turn. Wow, we're gonna just lose to Jank, huh? I will triple block your Ulamog's Crusher if you attack in with it. Alright. We're going to pass the turn. We're going to be sacking some lands. Straight away on that Ulamog attack. Alright, so goodbye... Yeah, sure we'll float mana. Sure, why not? We're just going to destroy these planes anyways. Uh, yeah, we're just going to... Just going to take out the planes. That's fine. We're going to get this guy off the field right now. Um, and hope... That we can recover... I'm going to keep our lords. We'll just go like this, I suppose. See what happens. Let's see how they order the blockers. Taking out my Viverlint first. Alright, I'm fine with that. I want my Platids around. Can you buff him? You going to buff him or something? I hope not. Oh, what you got going on? Okay. Fair. They have five cards, though. So, <laughs> let's see if they cast another one here. Yeah, it cost eight. Yeah, they're going to cast another one? Oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. All right. That's a bit problematic, huh? That is a bit problematic. So what if we try to attack in here? We'll lose something. We lose something and then uh we get to become the monarch. 
We kill off two of their creatures. Look, say we swing with everything. We just swing out. We keep sacking our lands. We make Ulamog kill one of our plated. We make everybody else chump block. And we take like a good hit from Ulamog next turn. We get rid of our mountain and something else. We become the monarch for a second. And we get in for a good amount of damage. Okay. We're going to swing. We're going to be a little crazy. Why not? Let's have some fun. All right. So, Hunter. Hunter. We're going to say here, but we're going to say no to that. We're going to... Say sure to that. Say to that one. To that one. To that one. To that one. Alright. Let's make sure we're doing this right. So we'll say yes to one of these. No to the other. We'll say no to this one. Say okay to this one. Say yes to this one. Say no to this one. Sure. Sure, sure. That's fine. And they're still going to take 12 damage. Good luck figuring it out. Yep. Yep. 3-3 three, three on the gem hide. Should put the 3-3 three, three on like the other plated or something. Because we're probably going to need this gem hide, but so be it. I don't think they got buffs. Maybe they do, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Mia Janet Growth can't even get past uh, our 4-6s right now, so... Two minute gen gross will, but then they'll die. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Very nice. We get the monarch trigger, so we'll draw an extra card this turn. Cool. I like it. Come at me, Ulamog. I don't care. Yep. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have eight mana. They could play another Ulamog. Two, four, six. Cabo Predator. Yeah, that's a good one for them. Because I make some tokens. Not quite enough, though. I need to play another two creatures, otherwise I win. Alright, they saw the writing. That's cool. Be in sideboarding. Alright, so... Gleeful Sabotage for their stupid enchantments. Um, I 
feel like they might bring in some kind of fog effect, so I might bring in one flaring pain, just bring out bladebacks. Most of them. Cut one winding. Yeah, sure, I, I don't know. You know, this is just a random deck, so we'll just run it back, try to get a quick start on them, and just kill them out before they can get to their eight mana. This is super mono green. Mono green Eldrazi Ramp. Probably just call it Eldrazi Ramp. That's probably all it is. Waiting on them. Hopefully they're not wasting our time. There we go. You guys playing first? Alright. This isn't exactly the fast start I wanted. But we do have two lead the stampedes. Hmm. Do I want to toss back to lead the Stampedes? Got a Hunter. I wish he was just any other creature that we could play right now and I would keep this no problem. Because as for right now, we got plated and we just got to hope to draw other things. Well, we got, we got a lot of stuff we can draw. Alright, we'll keep this. We're on the draw. Seems reasonable on the draw for us to get a uh, turn two playable, and then turn three into lead the stampede. The ramp begins. And we don't. Awesome. Sweet. That's cool. Don't give me another flooded out game, I swear. I'm going to be pissed. So they just like have nothing they can do for a couple turns, which is hilarious. And we keep drawing lands, which is not hilarious. It is super sucky. Uh, I could have actually played out the hunter this turn. I could have Ash Baron. Uh, no, I couldn't have. No, I couldn't have. It's fine. Our plan is to just lead the Stampede still, turn three, I guess, since we have nothing else to do, but they don't want to play, so they just said, screw it, we don't, I guess they couldn't play anything for like four turns, so that's the game. Uh, we go, we go two and four, uh, let's see here, turn to details, there we go, two and four, one match one against Boros Aggro, lost match two against uh, Mono Blue Control, went one and two against them. Uh, Burn two owed us, uh, Mono Blue Control again, two owed us, and then we two owed the fancy Eldrazi Ramp deck, uh, which no surprise there, it's not that scary. Uh, and we're in the loser's bracket, so that's just, that's just how it'd be. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Let's close out of this, I suppose. I think um, I'm just going to go to my deck here. Display, card view, there we go. I think I really want to bring in um, something for burn since it's making more of an appearance here. Um, Armadillo Cloak, I would like to bring back in. What we're gonna do is take out a hunter. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, just have a one of, I guess. Uh, Electricery hasn't been seeing a ton of play. 
It's a good card though. Flaring paint, plane we need. Um, I could just do one fireball since we haven't used it a ton and bring in one more armadillo cloak. That looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this league, how it went, um, how, uh, how we did. Obviously we had some pretty crappy mulligans in a couple games and other games where we just couldn't do anything. Our opponents just had the better hand and they just were able to take us down really easily. Uh, I wouldn't say easily, but uh, correctly. They were able to take us down correctly. So let me know what you guys think of the sideboard. I think Armadillo Cloak, I've been missing playing with this card against Burn. It does help us a lot against Burn. And we really don't have anything else to help us against Burn. Besides like Gleeful Sabotage to hit their stupid enchantment. But like I'm never ever worried about that enchantment. It's just not the main thing of the game that I, I want to worry about. Pyroblast we need. Um, I'd love to be able to... Hmm. I would love to be able to bring in a third of Pyroblast, honestly, for the blue decks. Because um, it seemed like we needed to draw into Pyroblast more than we did. Do I have a third? Uh, let's see. I've got one more I could bring in. So what do we cut? What do we cut against blue? If blue's that strong, uh, I think Gleeful, Sabotage, Relic are super neat... Um, super needed right now on the sideboard flaring pain obviously for tron is super needed flicker tron all that stuff standard bearer for bogles things like that i could see cutting one electricery and bringing in three pyroblasts let me know what you guys think in the comments below what we should do i think i'm gonna do that right now i think i'm gonna cut one electricery bring in one extra pyroblast uh, just because I haven't seen a super good use of Electricery in a while. The matchups just aren't there. And if we just need to counter counters against Blue uh, to get down our turn 3 Lord or something like that, Pyroblast is what we need. We need to be able to draw into it a little bit more efficiently, so that's what we do. I'm fine with cutting Hunter. I never bring him in from the sideboard. I'm fine with cutting a Fireball. Uh, we never bring in two usually, but I still want it in here. It's still a good surprise card. I think this looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. Leave a like on the video for us finally doing this league. Sorry it didn't perform as well as it should have. Um, it's a bit of a bummer. Uh, but we had some really good matchups, you know. I uh, feel like I uh, didn't play too horribly. Obviously, I had made mistakes here and there. And I'm sure you guys... We'll give me your advice on other lines I could have taken and stuff uh, against our losses and, and things like that. But uh, I think the ones that I did make mistakes on were on the ones we just won anyways, basically. Um, the other games, maybe I made little mistakes here and there, but I don't think they were like game costing. Um, other than that, yeah, it was a fun league. Uh, a little frustrating that we lost against Burn, like I was saying in yesterday's video. I think we should have been able to beat them. And I think just having one sideboard card here could be enough. And just having two armadillo cloaks on the sideboard to help us against burn seems reasonable. And adding a pyroblast against blue. And we went against blue twice. So, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Hopefully we can do more leagues in the future here. If you want to see more leagues, leave a comment below as well. And we will see you guys in the next video.